I guess that kitty thought she needed to pee right outside the door. It was a cute little kitten. Well, let's go see what all we can get done on this beautiful day. See what all's happening. We'll start out getting some chores done. No telling what else is going to happen today. Get out here and feed the pigs. Oh my. I knew I should have come out here last night. I really wanted to get this on film. Would that be called a piggy back ride? <laughs> he didn't like it. So last night I was able to finish the uh, the pig's water line. I've been kind of slowly working on that, but had to wait on a friend of mine that would come over and weld the two pieces of plastic line together. Um, well, I told him I wasn't in no big hurry. But now rather than having to truck it down here in the IBC tote and to fill our pig watering trough, 
This thing is amazing, amazing, amazing. We now have an above ground line. It's going to stay disconnected. We're only going to connect it when we need to fill that up. That way it doesn't freeze and we can uh, blow it out and get all the water out of it when freezing weather comes. Definitely don't want a problem there. It ends just a little ways up there. And when I run it, it's kind of got a little bit of a snake in it. Uh, so I need to straighten that out. But all in all, I was able to get the water line down here to it. I had to add 100 foot of water line onto the uh, poly line just to get here. It's a long ways back over there to the main header. And it's not like they have to have that water. As you can see, we got a wet weather drainage coming down through here. And that stays pretty wet during the uh, rainier season. But to give them good, clean drinking water, that's why we're filling that up. Boy, and the colors on these trees, aren't they beautiful? It's really pretty down here. So these right here are some compression fittings that I ordered from uh, PowerFlex. They is, uh, they're who we got our, our first electric fencing stuff from, and they carry all kinds of uh, HDPE. That's that black pipe right there. Poly pipe is what I call it. They carry all kinds of fittings for them. And that's who carries the quick connect ball valves for your quick connect water lines. So you can put them underground, connect them when you need them, disconnect them when you don't. They carry all of that kind of stuff. Super fantastic to go through. That is PowerFlex. They are up in uh, Missouri. <whistles> Cannot remember the name of that town. Seymour. Seymour, Missouri. That's where they're from. Anyway, that's who we got these uh, fittings from. I ordered them, well, while I was off on my COVID quarantine. And they have come in, and now I've got this whole thing complete. All right, so if you're ever wondering what a plastic weld looks like, that right there is it. All it is is this is two joints of pipe. They put a special iron in between each piece. They bring them together and kind of melt each end. Once that's hot enough to the right temperature, they pull the iron out and use that machine or that tool to grab both sides of this and squeeze it together. And it sits there and holds it for a couple of minutes till it actually bonds. And that right there is solid. You can pull on that and it's not going to break. That is what a plastic weld is. And then on this end is just another compression fitting right there, bushing it down to a three quarter PVC pipe. And then put the quick connect male end on that end. And down in the hole is our quick connect female end. And all you got to do is put that down in there, push it down, lock it in and you are gonna have water coming out the other end. It's kinda of like an Easter egg hunt. Look at that assortment of colors. Now that's done, let's go check on the fish, feed them, make sure, uh, make sure we ain't got a problem with any of the watering system. May get loud here for a second. Yeah, it's nice in here. Nice in here. Hey, fishies. Oh. Oh no. Houston, we got a problem. Boom! Well, not one of us. Hmm. That hurts. I don't know. Oh man, they're all dead. Still there in the bottom. Oh, there's some more. Oh, it's Uh, that's kind of heartbreaking. No, that's not kind of heartbreaking. That's real heartbreaking to me. 
Dang it. There is a lot of fish. Hmm. I don't know what to say right now. Well, that's definitely uh, depressing. Did not, uh, man. Some things I've been raising them for a while. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I've checked the water temperature and it's 64 degrees. Tilapia can live. I mean, they, they'll start dying at around 50 or below. Um, I did notice one of my, my air stones that gives them their oxygen in there. It's not putting out very much. That right there is what it's supposed to look like. This one was actually down in the uh, in the filter tank. Yeah, I think that one's just maybe on his last leg. I don't know. May need to get a bigger air pump. Kind of feels like one of my heaters is either out or it's just that temperature that it shuts off. And at 65 degrees, I don't think that. I don't think it should be shutting off, but that still, that shouldn't kill them. As I was checking the temperature, I used my pH meter. It's got a temperature and checks the pH. I have not checked that in a couple of months. The pH is pretty high right now. I don't know if that's, I'm assuming that's probably from the dead fish. I'm going to have to do some Google search or asking around trying to figure out if dead fish will raise your pH. I do have a couple left in there, but I got a half a five gallon bucket of them that did not make it. So after getting out here and counting all the piglets and, and just making sure everything is all good with mama and all that. Go back to sleep, mama. I did notice one thing. It looks like she either had a piglet that was still birthed or that she accidentally laid on and killed it and the reason i say that is is that right there has pig skin pig hide and what they normally do is if they have a dead piglet for whatever reason the mama will eat them that way it doesn't attract predators of course she eats her afterbirth and all that i'm gonna get out of here i'm waking her up and i don't want her to lay on another one if that's what happened so we're usually used to losing a piglet or two that's that's not uncommon the way we do it not putting them in farrowing hutches uh, they are liable to lay on them i did mean to come out here last night because andrea had seen that she was already starting to build a nest and so we knew it was coming and coming pretty quick but the reason i didn't ever make it out here i kind of forgot about it i was on the computer doing some things kind of taking Lane's spot for a little while because Lane was feeling crummy. Andrea actually took him to the doctor last night to get virus tested and um, he tested negative for the flu which is good. He tested negative for strep throat which is good but they wouldn't test him for the virus going around right now. She ended up having to take him back this morning and yep we've got another case of the virus here on the homestead so we've got new life we've got death we've got sickness all in one day man we know that's part of it but y'all be praying for lane praying that it don't hit him very hard he, did, he is running a little bit of a fever not feeling good uh, so we've gave him at least the day off for right now <laughs> I say that because if he gets to feeling better and wants to come outside and work I'm all for it I think coming outside and getting the vitamin D from the Sun I think that helps you out but if he don't feel like working we're not gonna make him so as of right now I'm off for 14 more days and if I'm off that 14 days I'll fill in for him if not, Andrea and Emily's gonna have to kind of pick up the slack. If for whatever reason they let me come back to work, 
Andrew and Emily's gonna have to pick up the slack and kind of do his chores for him while he's feeling down puny and just not good. We don't want him to overdo it and get really sick. Man, I like that tree. Look at that. Sugar maples are so pretty. So I'm gonna get rid of all these dead fish. Try to figure out what to do with them. I'm gonna probably compost them and see what else needs doing right now. So we have come back here. We brought Pepper for a ride. Emily's taking some pictures of the cows. It's just a beautiful afternoon. We let Lane off work for the day, as I think Ben told you. He is lounging around feeling pretty crummy, but um, but okay, generally speaking. Pepper's going crazy down here. Um, so we're gonna end it back here with the cows. So hopefully this is where coronavirus ends for our family, I hope. We are tired of this. We we are introverts and we love oh pepper. Hey, pepper. Say hi guys. Say hi. I want to go play with the cows. We love being here on our farm and we don't mind being isolated. Um, and we're kind of introverts sometimes. But I have realized this year how much I love people. I miss people. Pepper. Pepper misses people too, don't you? She just misses playing with the cows. Yeah. So we're gonna end it. Hopefully this is the end of the coronavirus quarantine for us, but it's another round of getting things done here on the farm, getting ready for winter. It was so. a good day, a bad day, and a, and a sad day. Yeah, all three. I always love babies. Hate when people get sick, and it just makes me sick about all those fish. Yeah, I just... oh, that was terrible. And about, uh, we never have gotten used to the fact that we lose piglets almost every time we have babies. Most people that raise pigs do. Um, if they're honest with you, they'll tell you they lose piglets. Um, so that's always a little sad, but new life is always exciting. That is the future of the farm. And so that's it. You got anything else? No, I'm going to go out there and let Pepper play with the cows. We'll wrap that up. Maybe get a little, little shot of her running around barking, just having a good time. She well, is a wild woman. Yeah. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. God bless. You a rapper? All right. We're wrapping her up in her homemade... What do you call it? Body harness? harness? Homemade body harness? Set. Set. Good girl. She's waiting. That's progress. Yeah. Pepper, sit. Oh, that's hard, Dad. That's real hard. All right, let's go. Meanwhile, Emily's out there having a photo shoot of cow pictures. She's hilarious. She's snapping at him like you would a kid to get him to look at the camera. <laughs>